The Scottish wedding is a wonderful opportunity for all us gentlemen to wear skirts. I have anticipated this day and dreaded this moment <laughs> in almost equal measure. Not everyone may be aware of this. Brain, a fascinating organ which works from the moment we're born until the moment we stand up for the speech. <laughs> Um, so, please forgive me, I've written a speech there. Being in Scotland, Craig Mila Fairshire, 100,000 Welkins. Or, as we Welsh would say, I feel proud of them. For those of you who don't know me personally, I'm Brian. As the father of the bride, it's my privilege to make the first speech. And I would like to start by saying, on behalf of my wife Margaret, and myself, and David and Leslie, our families, their families, and all our friends and relatives, it's a real pleasure for you to all be here today. <laughs> We're here to celebrate Louise and Neil's special day. Weddings are, I think, celebrations renowned for bringing families together. And this one's no different. We have people here from all of these islands. Many people have come a long way to be here today. We have Alison and Laura from Inverness, Alistair Mandy from Danny, from Bristol, Robertson family from Liverpool, Gunn family from Norfolk, and many, many others. Thank you all for making your way to Glen Scarlet today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's amazing how far some people will come for free meal. <laughs> could, I start, could I start by giving a very big special thanks to Neil and his grandmothers, Nancy and Ellen. Nancy and Ellen, without you, we wouldn't be here today. <laughs>
Ich höre fest, dass Marie Ponte ist dann. Oh, das ist Wort für Eis. Marie Ponte. Marie Ponte. Und ich. Ich habe das. 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 So, anyway, today I will try to smile a lot. Yeah. Um, seeing Louise, seeing Neil looking so happy, um, it's just an amazing experience. <laughs> when you walk down the aisle, Louise, see what's coming. Charming, 
well managed, thanks to the United. And still, despite that, only claims to be an infernal fan. <laughs> I'm delighted to be his picture to be the man who suspends a record. And I'm a contented father today. It's a real pleasure to be able to officially welcome you. So, I'm not going to say much about the two of them together. They've been together for three years. They met at Glasgow University at the uh, St Andrews Teacher Training and have been together almost presently in the last three years. So instead of telling you all the exploits that they've got up to, I've decided to do it in teacherly fashion by doing it right. <coughs> so here I have the ballad of Louise. We know that she is more than able to read the periodic table. <laughs> With widened eyes, we gasp it all, as Louise quotes Arrogato's law. I'm sure now folks you have the gist that she once was a pharmacist but realised that her vocation lay in the field of education. At the graduation ball of the spider, beside her back to be beside her, she thought to dance I will invite her, and soon the two became an item. <laughs> in Abbeymore, they all got down upon one knee. Beg, please, please, marry me. If you will gain to be my wife, I'll be the happiest guy in the fight. <laughs> she said it is with greatest pride that I'll consent to be your bride. Despite your deep emotional scars and your devotion to the powers. <laughs> Manfully he ignored the slut and said, My darling, I'll keep her. To your desires and your plans, our children will be Celtic fans. Thank you. 